Welcome to Vlogmas Day 19 and welcome back to another epi. So as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I create these glass um, albums. I feel like I'm late to the trend, but honestly, I'm like just now hearing about them and they're so cute and I've always wanted one. I just don't know how to make them. So now I'm going to show you guys how to make them because now I know how. I made this Michael Bublé one for my friend Alyssa and I hope she likes it. Um, it's part of her Christmas present and honestly, I think it turned out so cute. So today I'm going to be making three more. I'm going to be doing Ariana Grande. It's Selena Gomez and Louis Capaldi one. So what you're gonna wanna do is obviously get glass frames. To get the actual like positioning of it, you're gonna wanna go to Spotify, find the song, play it for a bit, and then figure out what point you want it to stop at, or you could just leave it at that. So you're gonna screenshot the actual like song playing and then you're gonna go to like the part where you see the album cover and save that to the photos but you get the album cover and the like, I don't know what this is called just so you get this part too. Okay once you have that saved to your camera roll you're gonna go into like any editing app that you have. I did this all on my phone so I use square edit or no crop and as you can just see it from the video, the screen recording that you, and you're obviously seeing the screen recording, I just put the pictures in to the app and I really just sized it to fit my screen. And it's pretty self-explanatory, you just kind of arrange it in like the way you want it to look. So some people might like, might like the barcode underneath the picture. Um, some people might want the picture smaller, you know, it's really just up to you and like your preferences. So after you're done, you know, designing it, you're just going to want to save that to your camera roll. Now that you have it saved to your camera roll, the sound is really bad, so I'm just going to give you guys a little rundown. Basically, you are going to go onto Spotify and, um, screenshot the song playing so once you screenshot the song playing you're gonna want to save the album cover with like its barcode onto your camera roll once you do that you're gonna go onto any editing app on your phone and just arrange it however you want like basically I showed you guys how to arrange it um, in the screen recording after that you're gonna want to save it into your camera roll and then open Google Docs on your phone and import all of the images into that Google Doc after you have that in your phone, you're gonna go onto a computer and adjust the images on the Google document so that once you print them out, it'll be fine or it'll be the right size. Okay, so I had already made a document on my phone and I just imported all of the images. So here's Ari. Oh, there should have been. Oh, okay, I guess it skipped. Selena. And then it skips again, and then Lewis. So I have all of them imported already, but if you don't, then you would just copy and paste them onto a document onto your computer so that you can adjust the sizing and fit it onto your frame. All right, so now that you have them all sized exactly how you want them and nothing looks weird, and you know that like this one might be a little, actually, no, it'll be fine. So, like I said, if they're all sized and everything looks even, nothing looks stretched or scrunched, you can go ahead and print it out. And I personally print it out off of my phone because my computer won't connect to my printer, but it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so it also depends if you want your albums in color or in black and white. I did this Michael Bublé one in black and white because his album picture was already in black and white but I think I want these in color so I'm gonna print these out in color and it's like nothing too crazy so it should be fine okay so once you know that your frame does fit your pictures 
you are gonna wanna get a black Sharpie. Before you draw on these frames, you're gonna wanna make sure it's all aligned and even so that you don't make anything like crooked and like ugly. So align them exactly, align them exactly how you want them and then start tracing. Okay, so now that you have your frame exactly how you want it, you're gonna grab your Sharpie, but you're gonna outline this part and this bottom part. Ignore the picture for now. Okay, now that it's a little more cleaned up, you're gonna wanna get your paper and cut out the album. You're gonna get your image and put it on the back. Make, tape the corners down. Tape this corner down. There you go. You have a glass album. <laughs> 